Image opens to a historical timeline, panning right through several milestone years. Snap zoom to the year 2001. Above it, the acronym MARS, Mars. Then, in the top left-hand corner of the screen, the number 50 appears, next to the words Evolution and Innovation, LHNCBC at 50. Title, Document Imaging, Earliest Machine Learning at NLM, George Toma. A shot at the entrance facade of a building with a sign, National Library of Medicine. Cut to a medium shot of a man in blue shirt and a tie. He is seated in front of the display of the historical timeline. Text, George Toma, PhD, Communications Engineering Branch, 1974-present. Right around 1994-95, the National Library of Medicine lost the services of a big contractor for the manual entry of citation data from the journal articles, which essentially meant that Medline itself, NLM's flagship database at the time, uh, Medline itself was getting out of date day by day and week by week. And Dr. Lindbergh recognized that that's an untenable situation. So office interior, men and women typing volumes of documents in thick books using teletype machines, word processors, and vintage computers. Computer screens with green plain text on black background. Many people in the library pitched in to manually enter the data from the journal articles and so on, but he simultaneously wanted an automated system to do that. And he came up to the 10th floor and asked if it can be done. And of course, of course it can be done. And so we built a system that we called Mars uh, that has lasted 22 years as of the, today. The acronym MARS appears on screen next to a shot of a computer monitor and a keyboard. The acronym turns into the words Medical Article Record System. And uh, uh, this is a system that extracts the citation data, author names, title, and so forth, in an automated way so that manual entry is not needed. A woman seated in front of a computer wearing a headset with a microphone Close shot of a computer screen that has a graphic user interface. The text on the computer screen are highlighted in multiple colors. This is a, the first example, as far as I can see, of machine learning used anywhere at NIH, certainly at NLM. A page from a scientific paper recedes from view and fades into a composite background image that includes a computer circuit board a desktop computer, and the words auto-label in Mars database. Then, the word rules appears in the center of the screen. We are now, today, using machine learning techniques, especially the new deep learning models, for a variety of information extraction uh, goals for malaria screening or screening for TB and the like. Moving images of MRI scans and radiography of various parts of the human body cut to streaming data with numbers and medical terminology. A closed-up shot of blood platelet spots, identified with pink and yellow circles. A woman in front of a computer screen navigating a website called Medline Plus. Cut to another woman reading an NIH magazine with the word Medline on the cover. A close-up shot of a website called clinicaltrials.gov. NLM's goals in information the extraction, the collection, the dissemination, the storage of information. Information is NLM, is mirrored by the uh, work done in extracting information from uh, x-rays or uh, digitized glass slides or tissue images or, uh, or full text in books and articles. A man in a lab coat taps the screen of a cell phone that displays an image taken from a microscope. It's all extracting information for a purpose. Tracking shot of the bust of a man in a lobby. Behind it, a writing on the wall that reads, we must develop a communication system so that miraculous triumphs of modern science can be taken from a laboratory and transmitted to all in need. Senator Lister Hill, 1965. The Lister Hill Center's mission in that regard I don't think has vanished. There is still a lot of opportunity 
to establish systems that could serve as a prototype and as an example for others to carry on in practical ways, let's say. Shot of the historical timeline, zooming in to the text, Mars, 2001. Gradually, this image fades to black. 